Now have a typhoon out here in the western Pacific. That is Maria moving away from the Ogasawa Islands and likely going to be impacting northern Japan as we go ahead into the weekend here. Uh, according to JMA, not quite up to typhoon intensity just yet. Pressure at 980 hectopascals. But according to JTWC, which uses a one-minute wind scale, they are indicating, based on Dvorak analysis, that center of circulation now up to that 65 knots or 120 kilometer per hour threshold. Now, does this change the forecast that we've been discussing for a few days now? Not really. Still watching this move towards north and still watching multiple other lows forming in its wake. That's going to be enhancing that monsoon, especially across parts of the Philippines. Taking a look at the track from JTWC, though. Yeah, 65 knots. They're expecting it strengthen just a bit before it starts to encounter shearing. Almost stalls out as it nears the coastline of Tohoku making landfall there just north of Sendai but still a pretty wide range of uncertainty here as it pulls off there towards the west so definitely want to keep a very close eye on it for our friends in northern Japan but if you're out here uh no, I got some people that watch out of Misawa um, in Amori Prefecture. Definitely could be looking at some impacts from this as it comes on shore. And even look at the track from the Japan Meteorological Agency. May not be a typhoon just yet, but they do expect it to strengthen into one before coming on shore there. And uh, yeah, just slowly tracking, kind of almost kind of lingering uh, along our coastal here. Is another wider look. Winds, uh, especially in Amori Prefecture, winds could funnel around there across the uh, strait there, heading off towards Hokkaido four weekends out passing by Hokkaido but look multiple other lows kind of running in its wake just on the back side of it here's another look those winds really picking up Saturday heading into Sunday and over towards Monday it gradually weakens out then also got the separate system kind of pushing in another one even over there too all right so how about the rain that's I think going to be one of the bigger issues uh, especially across the northeastern areas of Honshu uh, could be seeing some spots about 50 to 150 maybe even 200 millimeters of total precipitation out of this for our friends there. Looking at the flyover, this is far towards the southwest of Okinawa. Uh, Kumamoto, 36 degrees. They're recovering after a large earthquake here on your Thursday morning. Tokyo, 35 degrees. Thursday afternoon, I should say. Sendai, you got 31, but look just offshore. <laughs> yeah, now's the time to start making those preparations. I mean, my goodness, uh, you can just see that moisture starting to head off into your area and even off towards Sapporo as well, uh, 29. But uh, yeah, there's definitely rain coming into your neck of the woods here in the near future. So know your information from official sources. If you're out here, uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably don't speak Japanese or else you'd be watching the local Japanese uh, information. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and trying to get your latest updates on this. Uh, watch as that storm system pulls away there towards the north and the monsoonal trough still in its wake across the Okasara Islands. Another low right there. And this one actually could even drift out towards southwestern Japan. I want to keep a very close eye on this because, as I mentioned, it's still recovering from that large earthquake um, here on Thursday afternoon in Kyushu. This would not be welcomed whatsoever. Even some guidance has it pulling back towards the west. All around this kind of monsoonal gyre, which we've been talking about for well over a week now, setting up heavy rain north of Guam, at least you're staying relatively dry, and even enhancing showers in uh, northwestern areas of Luzon, all in the wake of, of course, Typhoon Maria here, and these other lows forming up behind that so it, it's all connected it's all this river of moisture multiple other storm systems we could see a new name storm system here as we go ahead in the weekend early part of next week for our philippine friends here on our saturday we're looking at that flyover west coast pretty much seeing the heavier of the precip here uh, especially if you're talking about manila could be a little bit of a break in northern luzon as our trough kind of lifts back there towards the luzon strait but as we go ahead in the Sunday over towards Monday, it is going to settle back down towards the south. So if you're out here in the region, one, do expect an increase in those showers there. Anyways, as a look at now Typhoon Maria. Can't stress enough, if you like these updates, please check out our Patreon. Everybody here, Super Typhoons, they donate $10 or more a month. I'm not saying you have to do that, but I'll never put this stuff behind a paywall. I really want to get to a point where I can make these updates without just make them and that would be the job and i could do so much more uh you know at least i could do what i'm doing now because of the support from our patreon friends or if you even want to advertise there's another level of above super typhoon for anybody that might want to advertise and get a little uh extra into these updates anyways that's what we got going on now today guys as always thanks for watching i hope you are staying safe wherever you are and i'll continue to keep you posted on now Typhoon Maria and everything else happening out here.
in the Western Pacific.